What is digital storytelling? Digital storytelling is a story about your life, using images, sound, and your voice as narrator. It's a mini-movie about you. It's a digital story because everyday people, like you and me, now have access to modern digital technology. Books are technology too. They are an older type of technology. Telling stories is an art even more ancient than the book. People have been telling stories, well, since there were people. Our modern digital tools include the camera, video recorder, microphone, phone, tablet, and computer. Digital stories always require some sort of software to upload, edit, and share. You may enjoy watching films, TV shows, documentaries, and music videos. These productions have hundreds of people working on them. You will be the one director, star, and video editor. You have probably seen at least one viral video. Everyday people doing extraordinary things, or normal things that turn out to be hilarious. Have you ever seen America's Funniest Home Videos? They have been on TV for 26 years. Your story doesn't have to be funny, but it should be complete. It's not a movie trailer where it teases you about what will happen. Show and tell everything that is important to understanding the story. Are you alone out here? Picking a topic can often be the hardest part of a digital storytelling project. Your story can be about almost anything. School appropriate topics, of course. Topic ideas include telling about an event you attended, like a wedding, a concert, a birthday, memories about a vacation or travel experience. Oh my gosh, that is too cool. An interview with a member of your family. Telling about a favorite hobby or sport that you participate in. You could explain a concept or issue from a favorite subject, like science, or the habits of a favorite animal. Be creative. Once you have a topic, you should think about who you want to watch it. Most likely it will be for a general audience, which means absolutely everyone, of all ages. Depending on your creative process, you may write a script first, or you may prefer to sketch out your scenes on a storyboard. A storyboard is a series of panels with a place to plan and draw scenes from your story, as well as plan out action, special effects, and dialogue. Your digital story doesn't need to have live action, but you do need images. You could also have a combination of both. It doesn't matter which order this process goes in, storyboard or script, but you should know that in the movie business, the script usually comes first. I work better from a script. Then I can imagine what sort of images best match the words. A great story includes strong characters, tension or conflict, humor, and some sort of emotion that everyone experiences. A universal emotion like happiness, sadness, or anger. All emotions are generally universal. Everyone experiences emotion. The trick is to make your audience feel the same emotions you do in your story. The gathering stage is where you create or research and find images, sounds, and live action. This is also where you will practice and record narration. There are several websites where you can download sound effects and music for free. However, you'll still need to keep copyright in mind, and in some cases include where you sourced your sound in the credits. You may choose to create and record your own music using a program like GarageBand. A picture is worth a thousand words, so be thoughtful about when you show and when you tell. The power of film lies in how it uses sound and images together. This dog video is pretty great all by itself, but it becomes more meaningful if you tell a story about how this dog is actually eating your homework.
After you have gathered all your raw material, you'll be in the post-production phase, where you assemble and polish everything. We will likely be using iPads in Apple's iMovie to put all the materials together. The first time you use new software, you will need to spend some time figuring out how it works. The best digital stories are edited well, and it is obvious the filmmaker paid attention to detail. That means you don't leave in messed up bits, bloopers, and mistakes in your narration. The role of editor is a powerful one. Use your software technology in artful ways, but don't get too crazy with special effects. Simple is best. Stop and think about how a first time viewer might see your film. Edit your work, have someone watch it, get feedback, edit some more. Take pride in your work, make it your best. YouTube is perhaps the most well-known video sharing site in the world. With your permission, this is where your finished digital story will go. Sharing can be scary. You are offering up a piece of yourself and you don't know how others will react. Sharing something personal always comes with a risk. The benefit and power of having your voice heard, however, always outweighs the potential for being made fun of. When a student or teacher offers advice, be willing to hear it. It's likely not about your actual story, but how you are telling the story. A critic is someone who gives their opinion on how good something is. There are critics of film, music, food, books, even buildings. Criticism, when offered respectfully and received thoughtfully, usually strengthens a creative work. While there is no disputing in matters of taste, for example, some people just don't like tomatoes, you can still appreciate topics that you don't like. Even if a person doesn't like the topic, they can appreciate the passion that went into it. You don't have to like something to appreciate it, to respect it. It's easy to respect creative works that were obviously done with a lot of passion and attention to detail. If it isn't meaningful to you, it's going to be a lot harder to convince others that your story matters. Filmmaking has a lot of moving parts. It's not what I would call easy, but it can be very rewarding. Most things in life that are rewarding require hard work. David Packard was an electrical engineer and co-founder of HP. HP makes laptops, tablets, desktops, and printers. He left some words of advice you'd do well to keep in mind. Take risks. Ask big questions. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, you're not reaching far enough. David Packard and this from author Nikki Giovanni. I really don't think life is about the I could have been's. Life is only about the I tried to do. I don't mind the failure, but I can't imagine that I'd forgive myself if I didn't try. Nikki Giovanni. Storytelling connects us with each other. Be brave, be bold. I can't wait to hear your story. Posing for a Polaroid to see right through Skeletons and X-ray beams Time laughs, clouds and backwards falls Flow right through Formulate mutation scenes